performing on the street, when you do anywhere from 12 to 20 shows a day, not only do you get paid to practice, but you also look great when you hit the stage. It's not something that you can really learn. You can, you can learn about it in a book, but you don't really understand it until you get it up close and in person where you have an audience in front of you and you have to keep their attention. And if you stop for just a moment, you can lose that, that audience, which could be the next dollar in your pocket. Performing on stage, you know, you have people that are already buying a ticket to come and see you. They know what to expect. But when you, when you have people that are just walking by and they're used to seeing jugglers or unicyclers or acrobats or things like that on the street, they're not used to seeing someone drill a, a drill in their face or stick a, a screwdriver in their nose or swallow a sword or eat fire and things like that. They're not generally used to seeing those types of things. So we kind of push the limits on that. And you know, from time to time, you'll get people to walk away. And the way I look at that is that sideshow and the R Street performance is not for everybody. I've done interviews before where some people say, well, don't you look at street performance? And it's almost insulting. I've had one person say, don't you look at it as a form of begging? And not at all. It's street theater. You know, it's the, it's the, the most honest way to make a living uh, performing on the streets. And, uh, you know, and some people can afford it and some people can't. And if they can't, it's a gift, you know?